Hi guys, it's Sonic Mike. Hi guys, so I'm here to give you guys a movie review, which this week is called Man in Black. Man in Black starring Will Smith and also starring Tommy Lee Jones. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones. So this is basically the first movie I'm going to review. Uh, so, some of the rest I'm probably going to review a little bit later on. I didn't know there was a fourth film, which is called Men in Black International. I have not seen that one because I thought the third movie was the, was the one, the base to end the series, which I didn't, which I never saw the third one. I never have. I think I have. I'm not so sure. I have to rewatch it. But I have to look at that. So, so yeah. Um, so, what is the Men in Black is Space is all about? Well, the Men in Black is Space is all about you know basically a guy whose name is Jay who stars as Will Smith, and then you also have Kay who's Tommy Lee Jones, who's basically um, basically that he's looking for a de uh, other different partner and stuff like that. You know, and he needs he needs a new partner so so he can have with him. You know, you know basically you know like. You know other different things and stuff like that and and stuff. And uh, one thing, one thing I want to mention is that I think Tom Lee Jones and Will Smith make a really great pair uh, between uh, between each other, between each other. You know, basically in this movie, and they they really, really even are and stuff like that. And I, I kind of wonder if Tom Lee Jones really does like acting with Tom, with uh, Will Smith. I think Will Smith probably does like acting with Tom Lee Jones. I think I think so. But I mean, those two just make a really great pair. Just basically, just basically. In the movie or the franchise and stuff like that, based for three films is pretty good, pretty good. But the fourth film, a little bit more different, a little more different, a little bit more different. Enough, so I am just like I said, I haven't, haven't seen it yet. But um, but there's not really basically a lot to basically want to talk about. Just basically, you know, Men in Black one, and basically what they're doing is they're bringing uh, Jay along and just do, uh, you know, bringing him, seems just bringing him along. You know, helping him out, teaching him about the ropes and stuff like that. You know, about the men in black and stuff like that. And, you know, like how they, how they tell, tell you know, you know, they can't do this, they can't do that, or stuff like that, and stuff like that. If we really did have some kind of H need agency, basically in our government that we have a men in black based in our government, there, there would have been, or maybe they're just, maybe they're just hiding around, or maybe there's, maybe they're doing some things that we really don't even know. So like that I kind of, kind of, kind of find it funny. And stuff like that. The movie is very hilarious, very impactful, also as well too, and, so, and stuff like that. But it, it's nothing. It's nothing that. It's it's not. It's not really basically bad films and stuff like that. It really isn't. But I generally do like. The, I generally do, do like the first film. But even though with the second film, I I would say that for a little bit later. But I would definitely would say it is 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 something that you know basically you know a lot of people are probably gonna watch basically. Maybe near on, busy in the future, and stuff like that, and just basically have that old nostalgia and stuff like that. Just have those vibes from the from the movie and, and stuff like that. You know, it just really actually is. If you guys want to know who's my favorite character, basically in this in this movie, it happens to be Frank. I love the dog. I love I love the dog to death. I really do. It's just to see the way he smiles and stuff like that. He's always kind of get a very good comedic, comedian based kind of dog. You know, what's so like that. And you know, I remember Will Smith, Will Smith said, like, well, that's the worst disguise ever, ever i ever seen. And then Frank says, you can kiss my hair. If you don't like it, you can kiss my hairy, hairy fur. <laughs> it's hairy butt fur, so like, whatever you want to say. But uh, I, I think, I said, I think the, 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 the first film was definitely the most funny. It does, it does show, it does show a very good, very good impact for all as well, too. And stuff like that. The, the comedy is not really all that bad, basically, in the movie, but it's definitely worth watching. And stuff like that. But I definitely do enjoy watching. But like I said, I do like the pair between you know Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones, you know, basically being in being in this uh, in this movie because I definitely do think so. It's really actually good and stuff like that. But uh, and basically the fourth film, the fourth film, I, I don't have no jurisdiction just on that because I I have not seen it. But I, I'm one of the bad, one of the bad. I kind of don't know why they didn't they put Tommy Lee Jones or Will Smith basically in the movie. Maybe they're just Maybe it was not meant to be, or something like that. Maybe they just they got tired of being in the Men in Black movie, or something like that. I really don't know. I think that. But yeah, um, that's it from my movie. Group. There's not really much to talk about, but it's it's definitely an enjoyable movie to really to watch, and I definitely do like it. And you know, Men in Black movie, first movie, definitely ten out of ten. I really I really do love it. And even though I stuck through it, and basically just enjoying enjoying some of the comedy and stuff like that, but. It's definitely enjoyable. Now, there's also one other thing I definitely do want to talk about also well too, is basically the girl that she plays. She, um, I can't remember her name or anything like that. I can't remember her name. She's supposed to, you know, supposed to be helping out, uh, 
dead people or something like that or something like I, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. And uh, she just works for her job or something like that. I don't know why she did not play in the second film. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know why. I just got done with the second film. Um, I don't know. I'm just really kind of confused, like why she didn't play in the second film. Second film for her. I just don't understand why stuff like that. Maybe she decided not to, or maybe there's something wasn't wasn't right that she just definitely didn't like or something like that. She seems like she's a little like a good, good character, basically for me, basically in the first film. But it's just that the second film, she just never appears. So I I think it would have been would have been awesome to basically have her to be the to be the new partner for Jay. So I mean that that basically was something something I I would love to see, but however it just really did not. So I'm not mad or upset, but I'm just just kind of like I said where I'm just kind of disappointed. But yeah. So yeah. Anyways, that's it for this film review. Tell me what you guys think uh, think about this. Do you guys like the movie? Do you guys don't like it? Um, do you think Will Smith's a good actor? Do you think Tommy G. Jones is a good actor? I think they're very, very good both actors. And they do, they do go a long ways. But yeah, anyways, it's on the I'll see you guys later. Take care. I'll be someone one day. Take care. God bless. Remember, you, I love you guys. Please stay safe. And remember, stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.